Hello everyone, welcome to Banker Marketing. So glad you're here. Uh, this is the channel where we cover quick tips that drive me nuts. And so I make tutorials about it so that you can figure them out too. Okay, uh, quick and to the point. The, Joom, the new Joomla 4 login screen, there's actually a lot of flexibility in here, but some things that drove me nuts right, out of the, uh, right off the gate was, how do I remove this Joomla administrator login? And how do I get rid of need support? in this corner and the logos I kind of figured. So this tutorial specifically, I'm gonna quickly go over how you can customize this screen and sort of white label it so it's your own, doesn't look like it's got Joomla plastered all over. Okay, get this out of the way. So by default in Joomla here, we have our dashboard and we're gonna go into system and we're going to go to administrator template styles and autumn is the default template. And by default, it looks like this. Uh, within this template, you do have some color settings and there's lots of tutorials on that. You can just play with the colors and change them to whatever way you want. Uh, specifically looking at images, there's three images here. What do they do? The first one is your login logo, which is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to choose my login logo. There we go. The second one is your brand large. This up here, top left hand corner is my brand large. That one's in white. I'm gonna select my white logo. I'm going to put it up there. And based on the size of this, I think it needs to be narrower. I haven't actually, uh, I can't see it. I haven't looked at it to see exactly what size their logo is. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, 288 pixels by 66 pixels. So 66 pixels high, if you made that kind of, or even less than that, actually, the actual one is 30. That's with margin around it. So 30 pixels by 150, somewhere in that range. Uh, this one's a little fat for that. So it'll actually show up shorter or like it'll squish it a little bit. Now the brand small is an icon. So like this touch icon here, but I'm gonna use the white version. And what that is, is when your screen collapses, so if I took this and um, let's save this first, save and close, and we'll go back. You'll see this has changed to Bankert Marketing and it's small because of my logo. That's just the way it is. However, if I took this and I, I made it uh, for a phone, now you can see it's switched over to that B icon. So that's, that's what that small first large logo is. And then if we go back to our page here and we refresh it, you can see, okay, I've got my Bankert Marketing in the corner here, my Bankert Marketing here. So you can use that as you want. So that's easy enough. What I really wanna know is how do I change this and how do I get rid of that? Luckily for you, or how do I change this? Luckily for you, these are uh, pretty simple to do. So here's how we do that. Okay, step one, changing the Joomla administrator login. Uh, what I'm gonna do for that is I'm actually gonna use a, a, an override here, a language override. So if I go to languages, nope, sorry, I lied. Uh, system, I'm still getting used to the new uh, menu layout. Language overrides under manage. And then we're gonna select administrator here and I'm gonna go new. And for the value, I'm going to look for Joomla administrator login. And here you'll see uh, the autumn here. And then I can change this to whatever I want it to be. In this case, maybe I'll just say administrator login instead of Joomla. And I will save and close that. So now when we bring our page back in, you can see this has changed to administrator login. Okay, so what about this down here? There's a couple things that you can do. Let's go back to our home dashboard and then to system. And we're going to go to administrator modules. And for the administrator modules, there is one on here called support, login support here. And you can see that it is in the sidebar and so if I click on login support, here are, by it's by default. You can't really, as far as I know, you can't change anything in it without 
actually doing uh, some other changes. So you can change the links that are in here to your own links. So if you wanted this to go to your own website or specific places instead of the default Joomla ones. Uh, what I am doing in most of these cases, I'm actually unpublishing this. So then when you go back in and you refresh, that's completely cleaned out. So now we've got it completely clean. I don't see Joomla on here anywhere. You can see it's just a nice clean uh, login for your users. So another tip, if you're not aware of this, I'll just say this quickly because I want to keep this short. Uh, I can also create a new, uh, we'll call it custom, and we'll say web design by Bankert Marketing Inc. Uh, just like that. And I'll say login copyright. So then I can go ahead and I can uh, turn off the title. I can go ahead and put this into the sidebar right here. Make sure everything is correct there. Yeah. And save and close. And so now if I refresh, web design by Banker Marketing right there on the back. And so you, you could do potentially quite a few things with this spot if you wanted to. You could put like a image or a box or something down there. Uh, it kind of has a couple purposes, but that is a great way to customize your Joomla 4 admin login screen. Any questions, uh, hit us up in the comments. I'd uh, love to hear from you. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.